What's going on, y'all? V. Brandon Brownson here with another Let's Play. We're going to be starting a brand new one here. TBB Let's Play Super Mario Kart 64. I really don't have any fun trivia for you. Apparently, according to the bottom of the screen, this game was made in 1996 by, well, Nintendo. I'm doing this live, so I'm not going to be able to have as much uh, trivia for you as I usually would. We're going to go ahead and pick my favorite racer, Luigi. Why? I don't know. Just like Luigi. We're going to do the 50cc Mushroom Cup in this one. Just a quick, easy one. This probably isn't going to be a very long Let's Play. If I'm not mistaken, each CC level just means, hey, it's going to be a little bit longer. And let's start this off. So, it's a pretty basic racing game. You know, eight people. My phone is vibrating. I will get that after this race. And here we got the green turtle shell. Usually whenever I get an attack weapon... Oh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the big gimmick behind Mario Kart, besides obviously racing as Mario characters, is that when you hit those boxes, you get a different item. Now, there's really only two types of items. There are attack items, and there are speed items. For the attack, you get things like the uh, banana peel, you get... The turtle shell you get um you can get like fake boxes which you know makes it look like hey i'm about to get an item but instead you get your shit fucked up there are turtle shells which i think i already said and the speed items are just different mushrooms <coughs> which obviously affect your speed so i think i did a pretty good job of explaining it we are currently doing Luigi's Runway, I believe is the name of the place, which has to be the most boring of the levels, but at the same token, it's the easiest, at least in my not-so-humble opinion, so... You know, it's whatever, it's pretty basic. And we got the green shell, avoid that banana peel. Yeah, if you hit the banana peel... Did Toad really just run over his own fucking banana peel? Dumbass. Yeah, with the banana peels, if you hit them, you start skidding out of control and shit, which is never fun. With the turtle shells, you can launch them at your enemies. There is a lightning bolt, which will hit your opponent. Actually, it hits all the opponents and makes them smaller. Uh, do I have all the background information done with? I believe I do. And hey, I'm about to fucking win this race, unless I drastically fuck up. Which I do not plan on doing. Oh yeah, the way that the race structure works, I will explain that right after this. Jump the finish line! Woo! Woo! <coughs> Man, my voice is actually holding up pretty well. The way that the race structure wins, as you are about to see, is... Every race, depending on what place you end up getting, you get a different amount of points. Sorry, took a drink. Yep, first place gets uh, nine coins, second place gets six coins, third place gets three, and fourth place gets one, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth gets uh, zero coins. <coughs> and the way that this works is each race is made up of uh, four different levels, and whoever has the most coins at the end of it ends up winning. Now, here I got first place last time, so I'm starting in first in this race. Which I never understood. You'd think that you'd give the best racer the biggest handicap, but whatever. And, as you can see, each level has its different hazards and stuff. In this one, you get those little mole dudes who jump out at you. Pretty easy stuff. We're in the first couple of races, though, so... Obviously, it's going to be a little simpler. Ah, the red shell. Now, the thing with the red shell is, unless it hits anything, if it has just, like, a straight path or whatever, it will instantly hit whoever is in front of you. And if I'm not mistaken, the blue shell goes after whoever's in first place. I don't know, though, because I don't remember ever getting that. Now, usually when I get an attack weapon like this... Ah, shit, I missed him. Whenever I get an attack weapon like this, I just hang on to it, so that way if someone comes up on my ass, it hits them. Which definitely helps me keep first place. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, cool. We made it out of that all right. And muscle our way in the first place. Sorry if my uh, commentary isn't as entertaining. I already mentioned that I'm still getting over pneumonia, but also I'm kind of focusing on the race. This was kind of my big concern when I decided to do live Let's Plays. Uh, the fear of running out of topics. So, if you guys have topics that you want me to talk about in the Let's Play, whether it has something to do with a game or just something random you're wondering about me, uh, go ahead and let me know. Maybe I'll take some of the questions from the next TVB Unscripted and use those. Woohoo! And we finished the second race in first place. I'm gonna check this text message. And we're back. Yep, and here we have 18 coins, uh, which... And it looks like, yep, so second place is tied with nine coins, we have 18. Basically, so long as we don't epically fuck up, I should be able to finish this in first. Oops, sorry, hit the mic stand. Alright, now for the third race, which is going to be Koopa Beach. I'll admit... Yeah, sorry about that. I'll admit, this is the first kind of tricky one. As you can see right there, you have two different paths, and... I actually did not mean to take this path. I find that the other one is ever so slightly quicker. <coughs> and the big reason why it is tricky is because I'm always tempted to hit that because it leads to a shortcut, but I always end up missing it. So in this one, I'm just going to try and ignore that. Holy shit, you bastards. Okay, let's see if we can't muscle our way up front. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, drop that there. Hopefully we will not end up hitting that. Wiz over here. Whew! I love that little jump you can do. Like, I've never found a good use for it. But I just find it to be so much fun. What the fuck? Um, did we just encounter a ghost Mario? What the hell? Get away from me! Oh, hey, I actually hit him. By the way, as you can hear, uh, whenever you hit someone, they make a little noise, and I have to admit, I love fucking with Wario in this game, just because I find this little wah, 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 to be so entertaining. Ah! Ah, fucking trees! God damn it! I just tripped over my own banana peel. How in the fuck did that- Ah, oh, shit. Okay, it's only the second lap. Don't worry, you guys. I got this. Oh, turbo speed. Son of a bitch. Fucking crabs. Send the man to his prostitute. And if we did that right, we should only be in second. Damn. Toad must really have to jump on me on this one. No biggie. Go ahead. Take that. Where the fuck did Yoshi come from? Okay, let's go ahead. Grab that, start slinging him at this little bastard. Because I will be damned if I lose to a toad. Fuck. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, suck it! Oh yeah, we got this. We got this by the ass. So long as we don't hit the crabs, fuck yes. Oh man. That one was kind of tricky, I'm not going to lie to you. I was a little worried that we weren't going to finish first. Whew. Alright, so, yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed that we're at least going to finish top three. And, go into this. Yeah, we're definitely going to finish top three. Um... As long as we finish top three in this race, I'm pretty sure that uh, we will be taking home the gold, so to speak. Now let's go ahead and do Calamari Desert, which is another kind of difficult one. Well, we'll get to that in just a second. Wow, that was a really fucking slow start. 
Get, get out of my way, douche. So, as you can see right there, the big gimmick with this level is that there's a train that runs in the middle of it. And if you're not careful, the train will come and fuck yo shit up. Woo! So you have to kind of stop and wait for the train, which gets really annoying, I'm not gonna lie, but... Whatever. I mean, it's it's a decent hazard. Go ahead and use the turbo here. And Mario is still on my ass. Wow. I thought that the turbo would have at least provided some distance between us and shit. Okay, we're good. Yeah, if you go off the track, it will kind of slow you down. So you don't want to do that in this game. Whoa, holy shit. Where the fuck did you come from? Piss off! Turbo up in this bitch. Yeah. And it looks like that provided him. No, he's still on my ass. Jeez. What have I got to do to lose this guy? Avoid that banana peel. That's a, that's a pretty good start. Now, I like the little billboards in the background, like... They don't even promote anything, it's just, like, names of people. Like, if there was a Mario character named Greg who was in this game, there'd just be a billboard that said Greg. I don't know why I find that so funny. It's actually kind of fucking stupid. Okay, so we are in the final lap. So long as Miss uh, Train does not come and fuck our shit up, we have got this by the balls. This little red shell here is pretty much all the insurance that I need. It's my little insurance policy. Some people get Geico. I get fucking red shell. Which has lower prices than Geico and Allstate. And, uh, I don't know, what's another auto insurance place? I don't fucking know. I am really gonna have to turn down the volume on this. Uh, the game audio because I'm talking really low. Fire the shell, hop over it, yeah, bitches. That's what's up. I'm Luigi, number one. I have to admit that's the first time since I started playing this game again that I actually got first place in all four races. So I'm pretty pumped about that. And their maximum amount, of, maximum amount of coins you can get in each race is 36. So, I'd say that we did pretty damn well. And here we are going to see the little celebration video, which hopefully you guys will become quite accustomed to as I continue on with this. And that about wraps up part one of this Let's Play. In part two, we are going to take on the second series of races. Once again, we're going to be doing it 50cc. And I'm probably going to stick with Luigi. If enough of you comment and want me to play as someone else, I might. But I feel really comfortable with Luigi. He's my boy. So, anyways, that does it for this episode. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you thought of this episode, and recommend future games for me to play if you want. I have an NES emulator, I have an SNES emulator, I have an N64 emulator. This is going to be a really short Let's Play, so... Yeah, there's our trophy, and that about does it. V. Brandon Brownson, signing out.